Guru Nanak Dev Ji was the first of the ten Gurus of the Sikh religion. He preached that there was only one God, Ik Omkar, a singular divinity that is formless and timeless. To spread his message of peace, equality, service to humanity and the well-being of all, he undertook four major travels called Udasis, meaning a prolonged absence from home. He travelled in all four directions. To commence his divine mission, he visited his parents in Nankana Sahib to take their blessings. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, along with his friend and musician, Mardana, travelled eastwards and the first place they reached was Saidpur, presently known as Iminabad. Guru Nanak Dev Ji visited Bhai Lalo, a carpenter by profession, who requested him to stay in his house for a month. When Malik Bhago, a government official, organized a Brahma Bhoj, or grand feast, at his house, he invited Guru Nanak Dev Ji. When Guruji declined his invitation, stating that he was a fakir and not interested in his Brahma Bhoj, Malik Bhago was furious to hear this and sent an official command to bring Guru Nanak Dev Ji to his house. This time, Guru Nanak Dev Ji decided to go to Malik Bhago's house and took Bhai Lalo along with him. At his house, Malik Bhago, in an angry tone, asked Guru Nanak Dev Ji, You are dishonouring Kshatriyas by choosing to eat the dry roti in Shudra Lalo's house and refuse my buttered chapatis and kheer. Why? In his reply, Guru Nanak Dev Ji took Malik Bhago's butter chapati in one hand and took a dry roti of Bhai Lalo's house in the other. When he squeezed Malik Bhago's butter chapati, blood trickled from it. And when Bhai Lalo's dry roti was squeezed, milk dripped from it. Malik Bhago was stunned. Guru Nanak Dev Ji explained that your chapati is made from income earned by unfair means and exploitation of the poor, whereas Bhai Lalo's roti is made from his hard work and honest income. Guru Nanak Dev Ji gave his message of Kirt Karo, earning one's living with honest hard work and not by stealing, exploiting or depriving others. Guru Nanak Dev Ji next visited Tulumba, presently known as Makhdumpur, on the banks of the Ravi River. There a man called Sajjan, who always wore white clothes and gave the impression of a pious man. He had built a big house with a Hindu temple on one side and a mosque on the other. Travellers would stay there for the night and were also provided with food. Sajjan would rob and even killed travellers carrying valuable belongings. Thus, he amassed wealth by these unfair means and got the name of Sajjan Thug. Guru Nanak Dev Ji decided to put up in Sajjan's house. That night, Sajjan waited for everyone to fall asleep. Guru Nanak Dev Ji could read his bad intentions, so he was awake till late and asked Mardana to play his rabab. Guru Nanak Dev Ji recited his Shabd. Which means, bronze is bright and shiny, but when it is rubbed, its blackness reappears. Impurities cannot be removed by washing it hundred times. That sajjan, meaning true friend, are actually the good deeds performed in this life that will stand with you when your account is called for, when you die. Good karma helps us not only in this life, but in our next life as well. All this time, 
Sajjan had been listening to the Shabbat being recited. He understood that it was directed to him. He realized that he had performed evil deeds of looting and killing innocent travelers. He fell at the feet of Guru Nanak Dev Ji and confessed his evil deeds. Guru Nanak Dev Ji welcomed his change of heart and advised him to give away his ill-gotten wealth to the poor and the needy and start living the life of a true sajjan. He agreed and became a follower of Guru Nanak Dev Ji.